Hello Galactic Family. Blessings to all you dear children of Ra. Namasika. Venia Benya, I am the one, I am the all. I greet your beloved family. I extended my heart to yours. I've reached out, and I embrace you in energy or space wherever you are in your life on Earth. You are living as a human in this experience of life. You are feeling the essence of what it is to have a physical reality to live on this planet with its gravitational pull. To live in a space and to recognize who you are, not just human, but as this divine essence or that expanded consciousness embodied as you, the human. I always love the turn of meeting because it is my opportunity to get closer to you all on the earth plane and share those experiences that you are creating and projecting for yourself and for humanity. Everything that happens in these channels creates a space or an energy within the collective consciousness of the earth, within the dimensions of the earth, so that others can enjoy this or that, you can go back and enjoy the energy as well as choose. That's why we do what we do. To give you that place to go that will help you become all that you can be in this life. I smile at the many different labels that the earth plane gives to things that are happening on earth. We are now receiving a new wave of abundance and prosperity for the hearts of all of you. We welcome the new as we embrace a galactic new year, for we receive the solstice once more. The Lords and Ladies of the Karma Council are now evaluating energy on a universal level, and the progress so far with the awakening of 144 plus 144,000 light beings who have agreed to come to the Earth Plane to oversee Gaia's change in the New Age of Gold. This work that you have undertaken is a great undertaking and many of you are the face of a great challenge. But this is nothing new to you. In recent weeks, we have prepared, helped and activated many of you. Many of you may have felt the changes within your energy field. Many have been activated for the crystalline light bodies and many who work on the diamond codes have been activated in the adamantine light body. Many have received memory of the soul and their past life, the ancestral lineage and cellular memory are emerging in their consciousness. Many are undergoing many changes and healing and release are happening. For the molecular structure of your earthly reality, your planet and all living beings that currently reside in it are undergoing a complete restructuring at the molecular level, to anchor the new energies coming from the all-star alliances, as was pre-agreed and established therein. The stars of the past are lining up in order to water your planet with ethereal energies once again. By this means the ancient energies are carrying Gaia, and you are being transported to the ethers for healing and transmutation. The shock of these energies is producing a ripple effect of time that is sending waves of varying degrees that affect all that inhabit all the timelines of its creation. And, therefore, the stabilization of said energies is underway through the etheric cleansing techniques introduced into their ethers in past eons. We are now entering a new phase for humanity to finally change Gaia to a new high consciousness. The main events are happening as we have not seen since the good days of the Atlantean root race. Many planetary alignments are coming and my essence has now anchored firmly on Mother Earth to assist with many changes of energy and events that are coming from the higher dimensions of light. Sirius and Orion will once again align with the Giza pyramids bringing the new love vibration of God Sirius, and assisting with the download of high resonance frequencies to further activate their DNA model and light body with frequencies coming from 7777 of the blue and white residents of Sirius A. Portal 8888 of Leo will open once more to assist in the Source 0000 resonance manifestation of the Source to help many more with the full anchoring of the adamantine codes of light. On September 20, 2017, 
precisely at the Great Pyramid at 542.24.333 h, there will be an important alignment that we have not seen for eons, and which is highly anticipated. Venus will be in conjunction with star Regulus at this time. Then, at this moment, Venus, the morning star will be aligned with the star of the king, precisely at the angle of the Christ. This cycle will involve many planetary and astrological events, including the alignment of Regulus and Venus and Leo and Jupiter in Virgo. It is also being considered that Nibiru, currently in alignment with the Sun, will again align with Earth on October 24, 2017 bringing a new wave of enlightenment. Many will see this as the end of time, however, this will be the end of the ancient paradigm, for Earth to enter into a new phase. The destruction of all that passed through eons, and a great change of consciousness arises. This higher consciousness finally comes to change Gaia from the traps of the false matrix the matrix that kept her captive by ins. We are changing now, many masks are loosening, so many are awakening from their sleep. The connection in the dimensions happens as intended. Many and ample disclosures appear as your earth is moving into the final stages of a fully awakened consciousness. The glorious days are once again as we enter the glorious days of the golden age of Gaia. I send all the divine love, peace and blessings. I am Mother Sekhmet, and I speak for Elaine on this day. The lineages are vibrations. The galactic lineage of the felines is under the protection of the living four, and one of them is represented sometimes as a lion. It is a representation in animal form, of a virtue that has nothing of animal, since the four living beings do not participate of the human lineages, nor of the animal lines. The animal form marks a much higher reality on the level of light. There is in the light an anthropomorphism from which all human or animal lineages flow. The non-evolutionary lineages, so it is the four living or the societies like civilization of triangles, who will never know anthropomorphism. Do we have several lineages or at least one strain linked to animals? You have what I would call pure human lineages understand, therefore, not hybrids linked directly to great archetypes. However, I also point out to you that your mother, our mother, of all, is not of humanoid origin. Lineages are present in this dimension. They are also present in you. Today they are revealed in you in this dimension. We then have four lineages, linked to the four elements, the living four air slash water slash earth slash fire. The fifth element reveals the spirit, it is called the ether, it is a movement, since the four elements are sufficient to themselves.